Hello and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to achieve an ICMP reversal for Python coding. Let's understand some of the theory and then we will dive into the code and see how it's work and see some examples. So, we know it's a reversal, so we know that the client should start with the connection. At the left side, the computer represents the client. At the right side, the computer represents the server. So we say that the client should start with the connection. The client starts with an ICMP request with specific ID number and specific sequence number. At the data section at the ICMP protocol, i.e. transfer and WordPress, which the server, when it gets the ICMP uh, request, it will process the data section and verify if the WordPress is correct. If so, the server will ask from the user to input some command prompt commands because in our case the client side is uh, Windows. Um, so the client will enter a command prompt commands and then we will send to the client with the same ID number and the same sequence number an ICMP reply which inside the data section we already uh, store our uh, command prompt commands and before the command prompt commands we uh, specify uh, how many bytes this command is uh, combined from in order that when the client will get the data it will know how many bytes it will need to persist and transfer it into the command pro into the to proceed to take the the correct data and then process it into the command prompt with sub processing of python so why we should reply with the same ID number and sequence number? It's because the client needs to identify the, the same um, with this, this is done the identification of the client. If we will not respond with the same sequence number and the same ID number, the client will not uh, we not do nothing with in our case with our code because it uh, you know that we send uh, uh, data or ICMP request with specific ID and specific sequence it should get back a reply with the same ID number and the same sequence number if you, if you will not do so you will not maintain the connection between the server and the client um, then when the server when the client will get from the server the command prompt to commands to run it will proceed through python uh, sub processing and then we will get from that commands an output which is going to going to be a, a error output or regular output if the uh, comments are correctly and then the next uh, stage is to send the data we will not we will not send the data as uh, with all the output uh, output and output error uh, together as one packet because it's it's uh, can be uh, let's take the uh, dir command. Uh, no, let's take a mistake from the user. Let's with one byte. If it's uh, we type a without something and we press enter, okay, then it will need the 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 number of bytes of that output will be 92 bytes just of the data and. We sh should, and I think we need to 
split the data into chunk of 60 bytes and just then each 60 bytes to send to the user so I did a little uh, simple mechanism which will uh, split the output data into chunk of 60 bytes and then it will send the output to the server as the server will get all the data it will combine the data together and then it will print it into the screen and then we will see the output of our command so let's begin with testing our uh, uh, icmp reversal and then we will dive into the coding okay so that's the server side okay let's run again the tcp dump and see how many bytes we got from the client so first we should listen right so let's run our program now let's go to our client and run the program you can see before I run the program of the client uh, you can see that the, uh, the server gets some ICMP request but it will not do something with that because it's not recognized by the IP of the client and not uh, by the WordPress so it will not do anything with that and you will need to be careful because if you will not filter other ICMP request um, your data will get corruption okay so let's start with the client uh, sorry for that I need to be an administrator okay let's start with the client okay as you can see the clients the client sent the WordPress okay and we see that everything is okay so let's begin uh, typing command prompts commands let's start with an error command okay let's type in a as we can see we got the output very fast and we can see all the uh, output of my mechanism that uh, um, verify the data and uh, know how to deal with it so let's type a different command right now let's type a deal as we can see we got the deal output very fast so you can see that i took each and each 60 uh, um, bytes and as uh, the data section will be i split it to 30 bytes okay but uh, at the big picture uh, the full packet will be almost 60 bytes 58 so I took each uh, the output let's uh, consider the dir output will be uh, 450 bytes okay so I split uh, this uh, number into uh, 30 uh, bytes of chunk of data and then send it to the user as you can see over here can see that the client sent chunk of 60 bytes which the data will be above 30 38 bytes let's take the help command which is going to be uh, much bigger in bytes from the deer and see the speed and the process of the data so we can see that we got the full data without any problem and let's type very fast and check the if it's reliable and good enough to be as you can see it's it's reliable and still uh, each command will be in 58 bytes almost 16 bytes okay we split the data the data section of the SMP protocol into 
38 bytes okay and then we're going to send the data uh, we could do it in one uh, no uh, in one uh, action of sending uh, meaning uh, we could uh, send the data let's say the help data bytes is 500 uh, 5880 bytes this is the um, the size of the help um, of the help uh, command so we could send it in once but we should consider that we maybe we need we we wish to do it more reliable and more efficient so we're going to split it into 60 bytes of chunk. So, we saw enough. Let's dive into our code. Um, okay. Okay, let's take the code of the client. <sighs> Just a moment, sorry for that. Okay, so let's start with the client because the client is uh, starting with the connection, right? So. We open in a raw socket, which uh, the kind of this raw socket is going to be IP Proto ICMP. Um, the first thing that we should do is the, to fill right the headers of the ICMP. So the type will be 8 because it's request, we call it 0. Uh, the checksum for the start will be 0 and then we're going to fill it through this uh, method. Uh, the ID and the section number in this code will be constant. Um, next, we're going to see uh, the checksum uh, method, which is going to serve us. Uh, each time we need to send our request, we need first to uh, strike the data and to pack it and then send it to the checksum. And just after that, we're going to pack the data again and send it to our user, to our server in this case. So, um, as you can see, uh, we're going to transfer the 6869, which in um, Axi Exa going to be the high word. Okay, this is the word pass. So, as we're going as we going to send this WordPress to the server, the server will get it and will verify if it's our client. If it's the word high, we will close the socket we started with the server and we will um, open a new one and start the connection uh, with the client. So the next step, we should type uh, command prompt commands to the client, right? So here you got it. Then we are going to uh, m uh, measure the length of the data in order to send it to our client. And before we, run, we are going to send it to the client, as you can see, we combine the length of the data to the data, before the data, in order that before the client will proceed, he will know what is the margin of the data, what he should take from the data, okay? To be more efficient and correct. And then we are going to, again, to pack the data, to send it to the checksum, when we are going to get the checksum, uh, um, checksum result, we are going to, again, uh, pack all the data with the checksum together and then just then to send it 
to the server as we would send it to the server uh, to the client sorry the client will get it okay we can see it in the and this loop over here and then it will know how much data to take because we already uh, measure the length of the data and then it will process it process it into the shell sub process of the python and we will get the output and the output error after we will get the output and the output error we will measure how much bytes the output and the output error is out and then we, will, we are going to split the data into 30 uh, bytes each chunk so we see that uh, we will know how much time it will need to iterate itself and split the data into 30 bytes after we will get the number of the iteration we are going to send it with icmp request to the server and the server will get and compare for how many uh, bytes uh, the iteration and what is the number of the iteration number and that's how the server when it will get uh, the the real data the output he will know uh, how much how many times it will need to iterate itself in order here we can see it in the loop in the for loop how many times you will need to iterate in order to get the output and the or, and the error data of the client so when the client finish with the request of and uh, with the request when he sent at the data section for how many times he will need the server will need to iterate itself in order to get the data we will after that split the data into 30 bytes of chunk and we're going to send it to the server in and each sending it will be icmp request from the client okay as the client will finish the server will start to get it uh, through the iteration number we get from the client it will combine the error and the output data together and then we're going to print it into the screen so that's it this is my code uh, for the full explanation uh, which i'm going to do the checksum with different uh, method with binary method uh, and for full explanation uh, you can see my uh, link i share at the description of the video uh, there there is my uh, udemy course about uh, linux or socket output so um, I hope you enjoy and learn something from my uh, way to achieve the reverse ICMP shell. So thank you very much. Bye bye.